Hi everyone, this is just a quick video to demonstrate how I use a free plugin to help learn guitar riffs. In a lot of rock and metal music, the rhythm guitars are often panned to the sides, with the majority of the vocals and bass panned down the centre. When you want to learn a song or transcribe it, the mix can often be quite dense, so to make it easier, it helps to isolate the two sides individually to hear what's going on more clearly. This is where mid-side processing can come in useful. A very simple explanation of mid-side processing is that you can treat the central and side signals independently. First, let's have a quick listen to the original sound clip that I'll work on today. So the free plugin that I'll be using today is the BX Solo by Brainworks. There's a link in the description. So here's a quick run through of what the plugin does. From left to right, you can flip the left and right signal, solo the left signal, solo the right signal, solo the middle signal, and solo the side signals. Finally, there is a stereo width dial that allows you to make the track mono when set to zero and feel wider as you turn it up. So what's nice about this plugin is that when you solo either the left or the right, you'll hear it in mono in the center. So first I'll isolate the left signal. Next the right. Left again. And the right again. So there you could hear the two distinct guitar lines quite clearly when the left and right were soloed. This helps massively when trying to learn a song. But what if the song has a fast flurry of notes and it's quite difficult to hear? So the next step would be to stretch the sound clip, which most doors allow you to do. In Logic you can do this by holding down Alt and dragging the clip from the bottom corner. So now we have a slower track to work with, let's solo the left and right signals again. Now one final step to really help you isolate the guitars, add an EQ plug into your chain and use the high and low pass filters to narrow in on the guitar frequencies and cut out the bass guitar and the cymbals. You can then also boost the mids around 1 to 2k to help you make them pop out a bit more. As you can hear the guitars are now much more pronounced and easier to pick out. I hope this quick video helps you and if you have any more questions leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. There is also another way to do something similar with Logic stock EQ plugins too, so if you want to know about that let me know and I'll do a video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like to see more.